I know for a goddamn fact that fapping ruined my gains. I know it. And I'm not just joking around or uh, trying to be funny, but I know <laughs> I know for a freaking fact that uh that their browsers has been ruining my gains. Uh, here's some deload workout footage. And actually just footage from before going to the Olympia Expo. Uh, that I'm gonna be voicing over over here. So how the hell did uh, fapping ruin my gains? It took me a little while to pinpoint um, what's been causing my 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 hamstring tightness and my my deadlift issues. As you guys know, I've I dropped uh, deadlifting for like a month or so, and I had to take it easy on my hamstrings and. I just had some issue with my like knee and hamstring, and um, I th it was caused from this this workout where I did I think sumo deadlift. Um, no, no, it was a squat workout. I did squats, and then I did Romanian deadlifts, and then I did lunges. And I remember that when I was doing those Romanian deadlifts, something didn't feel too right, and then I feel like I did something that made it worse during those Romanian deadlifts. And then, and by the way, this was probably two or three months ago. And when I was on my uh, my lunges, and I'm, I was doing um, uh, dumbbell lunges with 100-pound dumbbells, so just lunging uh, to and from one side of the gym to the other, I noticed that my knee was feeling kind of weird, but also that hamstring was, was kind of feeling weird. And uh, I kind of just you know, grunted through it and finished that workout. But I, I know that it's, uh, it, it's like, so what the hell does that have to do with fapping? Um, I've, I've been searching left and right for why my hamstring hasn't like fully recovered. Um, and why it's like slow to recover. Uh, why some days is worse than others. Um, and really just how, like how I got into that position in the first place with my hamstring kind of acting up. Um, and this is how, this is really how, how, how that came to be during my contest prep guys. Um, you know, I'm losing body fat. I had like a 40, almost 40 week long contest prep right around that. Uh, as time went on and on, it got leaner and leaner and leaner. Um, you know, libido just kind of goes down slowly, gradually, uh, not to get too deep into my private life. Uh, you know, how can I say this? Uh, uh, without giving too much, um, nothing, nothing, uh, there was not abstinence, I will say, in terms of me and the significant other, so that was not, um, there were no issues with that, but I, I did notice that as prep got deeper and deeper, further and further, I was spending less time, um, on browsers, on, <laughs> on tube sites, and, and you know, doing the thing that you do before you go to bed sometimes, you fellas. So I, I noticed that I was doing that a lot less over time. And something that I was doing more and more often actually during prep that I really got into a good habit of doing was yoga. I remember doing my legs push pull routine every pull day. And we're kind of walking through different days here. By the way, this was a shitty ass workout uh, because I was feeling like shit. But anyways... I digress. Over time, spent less time on the internet looking for that right video. Um, and I'm the kind of guy, I'm, I'm real picky. <laughs> like, man, I might, might take me like 30 videos or, or 30 different previews or something to be like, okay, this is the one. But I spent less time on, you know, browsers and, uh, and fapping and more time doing yoga. So I was spending... Um, about an hour a week doing yoga, which isn't crazy, but that's a decent amount. Every pull day, I'd spend like 25 to 30 minutes of yoga, and that would really stretch out, especially my hamstrings, um, glutes, my back. That's really good for me. I really love that. I, I miss doing that. So yeah, combine that with, um, so combine the uh, more mobility work plus more yoga with less sitting at my desk. And the thing is, 
you generally, you guys out there, you probably don't sit with good posture when you are on NaughtyAmerica.com, okay? You probably do not sit with, like, good braced uh, spine posture, you know, mobility, WOD, Kelly Starrett, A-plus posture. You're most likely leaning back and kind of just lounging in whatever uh, shitty computer chair that you have. And that was the same way. Um, but anyways... I think that was one of the reasons why I seemed to get it seemed to be so easy for me to maintain strength and actually gain strength in my deadlifts because I was just gaining a ton of I was just really healthy my mechanics were healthy so I'll, I'll move on with the story sorry to drag it out towards the end of prep um, obviously you can't gain strength forever so that slowly kind of it, it kind of dwindled a little bit but I was really at my strongest, especially on the deadlift, at the end of prep. It's kind of weird. Um, after prep, and after getting some more food into my system, libido went back up. And what what can I do about that, right? I'm spending more time on browsers. I'm looking at, um, you know, I'm looking for those right videos, and I'm, like I said. I'm the kind of guy that will spend like one or two hours sometimes, uh, you know, doing that. So I'm, I'm in a compromised position for sometimes hours, at least a few times a night. And this was, uh, and more and more and more, as my libido kind of gradually uh, begins to reset and increase. So libido is going up. And not just that, but I'm spending... Um, what was I going to say? I'm spending less time doing yoga because I guess usually I, I do my yoga at nighttime and maybe I'm spending that time fapping, sitting in a compromised position that's really just shortening or tightening up my hamstrings. So <laughs> that's kind of what I attributed my, my, all my issues lately to is the fact that my libido has been rising. I've been spending like many more hours seated at my computer chair um, in a very bad seating position, tightening up my hamstrings, just shutting off my glutes, and spending less time doing yoga because I'm spending more time fapping, and also just being lazy. need to get back on my at least two times a week yoga. At least I feel like I, I need that. So that is... That is how fapping has ruined my gains. Like my deadlift is just does not look or feel pretty lately because my hamstring, like, I mean, if my hamstrings weren't tight, if I wasn't fapping so damn much, I probably wouldn't have had that one issue that I had with that workout where I kind of ruined myself on Romanians and then ruined myself further on, on dumbbell lunges. Um, New machine that Nick discovered. It's so amazing. yeah, that's, that's kind of so that. Perfect. I, I really, I seriously think that uh, being seated so much or more than no, more than normal, taking out the yoga has has been a detriment to my gains. And I actually notice it like in the uh, acute sense too. Like, for example, last night, um, I guess I did my thing, and this morning I woke up like my hamstrings were tight as fuck, hella fucking tight, so tight. So, I guess the takeaway message here, guys, is, uh, if possible, learn from my mistakes. So, one, I'm going to do my best to go on a NoFap, or at least switch things up so I'm not seated in bad positions. I'm, I'm, I'm really just going to try a NoFap here. And uh, I recommend that you guys be careful how you're sitting. Especially when you're doing work at the computer, um, check your posture. Make sure that uh, it's good. Make sure that your 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 spine is neutral. You're not slunched forward or fully extended back. And um, be careful how your back looks. And also, stretch out those hamstrings because they get tight when you're seated. That's why when you take a you know long plane ride or a long car ride, you just feel uh. And sometimes you might not work out as good. I know this for me, you know. That's why sometimes like I'm so excited to uh, take a trip, meet the guys in like San Francisco for a workout or something, 
And it's like, I always fail to deliver in those situations. And it's like, maybe I'm a little bitch, but like, it's those those times when you're seated for so long and those tight hamstrings sometimes. So that's just one thing, you know, I, I had to bring up. And hopefully you guys can learn from my mistakes. And uh, spend less time fapping. Maybe more time doing yoga and stretching those hamstrings out so that you don't get tight hammies. And... Be careful, guys. Be careful. Because when th that contest prep ends and that libido comes back, that Brazzers comes calling. Comes calling. So try to resist it. Or at least make sure your posture is good. Having good posture while doing that, man, it's not comfortable. You know, you kind of want to lean back a little bit. But I don't know, man. It's a sacrifice. Got to be careful, guys. Got to be careful. Okay? So what am I doing to remedy this situation? One, like I said, going on a no fap. If you want to go on the snow fap with me, let's do this, guys. Um, I just, I, I guess I should probably make a goal, like, to the end of the year or set some sort of parameters, and I'll be doing that probably. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. I want to bring back my yoga, and I'm going to be making sure I do it. And I want to do it every, every back day. So for me, that's my power upper day and then my pull day. So that's twice a week that I would like to be doing this yoga and also um, pr pr I'm gonna try my best but p either post workout or every night do a little bit of mobility work whip out my Kelly Stret uh, books supple leopard and then do maybe just a couple couple um, mobility exercises or stretching things for the muscles that I've worked out that given day so for example Earlier today, I hit legs, uh, quads, hams, glutes. I'll probably pick one thing for glutes, one thing for quads, one thing for hamstrings, um, at least. And it may be like some lacrosse ball, um, just smashing for my glutes. And for my hamstrings, maybe some foam rolling or just some stretching. And then for my quads, probably uh, foam rolling because I feel I, I really like doing that. So that's kind of how I plan to remedy it. Less being seated, seated. and also when I am seated, because I do uh, edit videos quite a bit, <clears throat> um, one thing I plan to do is every 15 or th 30 minutes, kind of stand up a little bit, squeeze my butt a few times, kind of maybe even do a, a couch stretch, which is uh, one, of, one of the, it's basically a stretch where you put your, oh, just look it up on YouTube, couch stretch, and, um, maybe do that every uh, 30 minutes or something so I'm taking steps to kind of increase my mobility health especially in my legs because I've been, I've been feeling that weirdness when I'm doing my deadlifts it's not quite a hundred percent normal and I'm trying to fix it trying really hard to fix that uh, trying to get myself all healthy again man it's weird because like during my prep it's like I felt like shit uh, in terms of like energy most of the time but my body, my mechanics, like, my, my muscle tissue was, like, hella healthy. Then the goddamn libido comes back and fucks everything up. Fuck. Anyway, pretty good uh, front squat workout. You're, you're looking at the screen right here. Um, <clears throat> I normally was doing my deadlifts before the front squats. Um, but I've, I, I decided this day I wasn't going to do those deadlifts just because, like I said, that hamstring issue. Working on it, guys. Working on it. But these 275 pound front squats, uh, sets of 10, and then I think two sets of 10, then two sets of eight, felt pretty damn good. Um, I am putting some finishing touches on my routine, on my split, and so on. So that should be should be coming out pretty soon. I know I've been saying it for a while, but the re the main reason I haven't put out like what my workout routine is is because I've been changing it so often. To try to accommodate this this hamstring issue that I've been having, and I think I have a good idea of what uh, it's gonna be. And plus, I had to move some exercises around because right now I've been doing those skull crushers, um, working my way back up to over 45 pounds per side on the easy bar, which is nothing crazy. But for me, that's that, that it's weird. I work my way up to that, and it could be two years ago or four years ago. I've done that many many times before, and then. 
as I as I use those 45s per side over time, I just feel like it brings back that elbow tendonitis. So I'm also going to be uh, trying to work on more of that, um, just fixing my, my tissues in my upper body, so especially around the elbows, uh, working on um, lacrosse ball smashing, my forearms, my, my triceps, and so on, because uh, I feel like that's been coming back. And uh, one of my main goals, like I said, was for this, well, not main goals, but a huge priority of mine is to get my arms bigger. Like, I really need those arms bigger, so. This was a video uh, kind of deciding that I need to put on a nofap, fix my hamstrings. Um, I feel like I have picked probably one of the main factors to my demise in terms of my deadlift strength. Uh, it's just too much fap and too much being seated in a bad position, uh, poor uh, hamstring tissue, uh, just too tight, not healthy. So I'll be fixing that, guys. I'll be fixing that. Why don't you fix it with me if you have a similar issue? Uh, you know, monitor how you're how you're seating, how you're seated, how how you sit, and fix your posture. Um, take breaks from being seated, and let's work on this shit together, guys. Let's do this. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Random video, I know, but glad to be back. Glad to be back.